Hi, I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to be replacing a freezer fan blade in a Maytag refrigerator. You may need to replace this fan blade if you hear an odd noise coming from the freezer, or if your freezer is too warm. This repair should only take about 20-25 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need three tools, a stiff putty knife, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flathead screwdriver. If you don't already have a new fan blade, they are available for purchase on our website. Before repairing any appliance, always make sure it is completely disconnected from its power source. We'll start by opening the freezer drawer, extend it all the way, and we're going to remove the nuts on the inside of the door. Once we remove these nuts, we'll be able to remove the door. Lift up on the door and pull back to remove. And set to the side. You can start by pushing in the baskets slightly. We'll need to remove one of the basket stops on either side in order to get the baskets out. Head and knife below. Take your flathead screwdriver. Push in on the square. And then pry until that basket comes out. Now we can pull out the basket. Let's start with the top. One end will come out, and the other. Set it to the side. In order to remove the lower basket, you'll need to push slightly towards the back and lift up until it pops out of the rails. And then you're just gonna have to wiggle it out. You may have to squeeze in on the edges of the basket in order to remove it. And set it to the side. Next, we'll remove the side rails. In order to do that, we're gonna take our quarter inch nut driver and remove the two quarter inch nuts holding it in place. And we'll do that for both sides. Once the screws are removed, you can slide both sides straight out in order to release them and then carefully remove them and set them to the side. Now we're going to be working in the back of the freezer. We'll take our flathead screwdriver to release the thermistor cover. Push that in in order to release. And then slide the tabs out. There's a thermistor on the inside that we're going to need to release. In order to do that, we'll just need to push the thermistor up to get out of the cover. We can set the cover to the side. Next, we can release the fan grill. It's clipped in three places. And we just need our flathead screwdriver again to release. One's in the middle. And two on uh, the sides. Once you set that to the side, we can take our quarter inch nut driver and remove the screws from the evaporator cover. Once the screws are removed, you can tip the evaporator cover forward and take it out. So here we have our evaporator fan. In order to get the fan blade off, we're going to need to swing this out. Um, in order to do that, we'll take the bimetal defrost off the copper tubing back there. Be very careful of the evaporator, it is very sharp. I would recommend wearing gloves. 
But this will just pop right off the copper tubing at the back. Set that to the side. And then just disconnect this wiring harness by pressing it on the top. And that'll come apart. Now we'll need to uh, swing out this assembly here. It's held to the back with two quarter inch screws. So we'll unscrew those. Again, be very careful of the evaporator. It is very sharp. And you can pull out this whole assembly. Pull that screw. Now, in order to get this fan blade off, you may be able to just pull it off by hand. If not, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver in order to do that. You just pry it off the motor shaft. Here we go. You can discard your old broken fan. And you can grab your new one. It'll simply push straight onto the motor shaft. And make sure it's just pushed on all the way. And it can freely spin. Melt the fan. Here we go. And we can reconnect the wiring and the bimetal defrost. To the tubing, and now we can replace the evaporator cover. Bring the evaporator cover in, heat it behind the metal on the bottom. You're going to want to thread through the thermistor to the slot. Push the cover into place. And all the holes should line up. So we'll put those back in. Simply press the grill into place. thermistor cover, pull the thermistor through as far as it will go, and thread it down into the cover, and then just slide it into the slot on the bottom, and it'll lock into place. Insert the tabs on the side, and then snap the cover into place. Now we can bring in the side rails. Be careful of the light switch. You want to set one end down while you slide in the other end. Line it up with the grooves and the back of the side rail will line up with the studs as well. So you're going to be sliding it back into place making sure it's as flush with the wall. And you're going to do that for the other side as well. And we can replace the screws. There we go. Extend the guardrails out of the way. We'll take our lower basket.
place the basket. Again, you may have to squeeze in the top edges of the basket in order to make it fit. Make sure that the basket tabs are all in the proper holes. You may have to push the basket towards the back in order to get all those holes properly sitting on the rails. Once the basket sits flush to the rails, we can put in the top basket. Put in the side with the basket stop in first. Once that top basket is in, we can replace the basket stop. That'll just push right back into place. Extend the drawer all the way so we can put the front door back on. There are two triangular studs that'll need to sit in these spots on the rails. So we'll line those up. Once those are both sitting on the rails, we can replace the quarter inch screws. And that's it. Here's a quick recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out and let us know what you think on these social media sites.